having me. <laughs> Did you see my chip dance? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> I tried. I saw it coming. Um, I'm here at Angel City Brewing uh, in beautiful Los Angeles. Uh, I just rode my bit. It's only like two and a half miles away. It's real close to me downtown, um, just north of where our studio is. And I am getting the hookup from my girl Letty. She's got uh, a couple of different things that she's going to let us try out. So that'll be the next beers on the boat. What do you got? I have a beautiful order for you. So it's kind of packaged tight, so I won't bring it all out. But okay. I have our Coach style, which we actually do with avocados, cilantro, and lime. Oh my gosh. It's creamy, delicious, super crisp. I know you're going to enjoy it. We actually, I included some recipes. I know you love to cook. Yeah. That our beautiful Jessica, she's one of our, our co workers here that she made and there's like an avocado scoop for you and stuff so I know you'll oh, like. Oh that's awesome. I also included our strawberry blonde yeah. which is our LA blonde but we did it with strawberries. This was a special brew that we did with women within our distributing company. There was awesome. about 160 ladies here to brew this specific beer. Is this a pink boots? It's not the pink boots but ah! this is the pink boots. So this one nice. is our plum saison. I know you're gonna love it. It's delicious. That's it's called so one exciting. Dr uh, one team, one dream, and this one is the Pink Boots collab, which I'm super excited for. So awesome. And then I know you love beer, and I know you're gonna geek out on this one. It's a Keller beer. It's part that of our is Insight like series. So my so, type. <laughs> exactly. I knew you're gonna love this one. So I was like, let me make sure to throw this one in. Oh my god! So thank you so done. much, girl. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a yeah. little um, Angel City like down the line, and oh, yeah. that'll be fun. No, thank I love you. It. Are you kidding? Of course. <laughs> Cheers, Mama. So here we are back on Tritea. Um, I picked up, I didn't even know how many beers Leticia gave me. And when I got home, I opened it up, my little goodie bag, and she had given me three crawlers and a whole six pack of avocado Kolsch. And it was really exciting. Um, but to be honest, it's been hot and Kristen and Dyer were hanging out and we already drank the strawberry blonde <laughs> so we're not gonna review it what I can say about it is that it is kind of sweet a little bit sweeter than I'm usually into but the strawberry is, the strawberry tastes like strawberry jam. It's really nicely, like it tastes like preserved. Um, the strawberry tastes really nice. It tastes like a strawberry jam. Um, a little bit sweet, kind of like slightly malty. Um, definitely a blonde, but it was, it was really, it was really nice to have a crawl ready for our boat, our boat mates. Um, so it's also super hot today. It was, how hot was it today? hundred something? It was 95 in the cabin. It was 95 in the cabin. I biked. 99 in downtown LA. I biked down here from home. And so... I popped this open already. <laughs> um, 
So right now I'm drinking this Pink Boots collab um, that Angel City did. It's called One Team, One Dream. It's a plum saison. And I'm just going to read to you who Pink Boots are. They're super awesome. They do collaborations and like education and tons of things with lots of different craft breweries. Um, so I'm on their website, just that you should go and check them out, especially if you're a girl, woman, femme person, and you're into beer. Uh, who are the Pink Boots Society? We are the female movers and shakers in the beer industry. We get the beer brewed and fermented with the highest possible quality. We also own breweries, package the beer, design beers, serve beers, write about beer, and cover just about any aspect of beer. And we are all women. Most importantly, we teach other people what we know through our own seminar programs, and we help each other advance our beer careers by raising money for educational scholarships. I think this is super important as a girl person who has been in different aspects of craft beer for different parts of my life because it can be really bro -y and people can sometimes talk down to you or, um, you know, all of the things that happen when you are a woman in a male-dominated, uh, hobby or job or a mix of those two, which, you know, has happened in a lot of my jobs. So these guys, gals, um, do really cool things and they also, they brew a lot of beer. They do a lot of collabs and, um, they make beer accessible for people who are not or weren't usually welcomed into the beer community. So I am drinking the One Team, One Dream Plum Saison right now. And if you don't know what a Saison is, it's actually the perfect beer for now. Saison in French means season, and it was invented in Wallonia, which is the French-speaking area of Belgium. And because of the heat during the summer, a lot of things, making pickles, making bread, making beer, um, they get funky and they get weird and they don't ferment the proper way that they should. And so beer, the saison, um, and in other parts of it, like in France, they call it a beer de garde, was made in the cooler part of the year, in the winter, and then stored from winter, spring, and was made available during the summer to the saisonnaires or the like seasonal workers. And so um, this style of beer is exactly for right now when it's balls hot and you don't want something that's too heavy or too, you know, or that you can't make it right, you can't make it right now because the yeast would go crazy. So, a classic classic Saison is like Saison DuPont, and I can't remember how old DuPont Brewery is, or Brasserie is, but it's really hella old. Um, the classic one is dry, it's usually very highly carbonated, um, people would say fruity, peppery, there can be esters, but... Traditionally, they didn't have very much alcohol in them because it was a, like, like farm workers, chill out beer. It wasn't a, like, f fancy, we're going to get wasted beer. <laughs> um, this says DuPont Brewery in Belgium. Uh-huh. Founded in 1950, but has been a working farm that dates back to 1759. Yeah. So that 1759, um, as a, the fact that they say working farm, um, is really important because this kind of beer, this, uh, Saison is also, um, pretty similar to, or exactly the same in some senses as a farmhouse beer. And one of the reasons why this style of beer is difficult 
or they, it didn't really even have a, a like straight description is because the different yeasts that existed on different people's farms made the beer what it was to that particular farm. And so to try to categorize it was kind of like saying, well, these are all the basic ingredients, but we've left it up to what's floating around our barnyard to distinguish what it tastes like, um, which is amazing. But as a style, it gives it a really wide breadth of what it means to can't be categorized as a saison. Or like, pilsners taste pretty pilsnery. Saisons can taste really, really dry and very bubbly and kind of like peppery. Um, and then the fruit can like really take over. This one has fruit added. It's a plum saison, but the fruitiness and also spiciness can come not just from additive, like adding, adding spices, adding fruits, but from the, um, the biology of the yeast itself. Uh, so what do we have here? We have something sort of in the middle. It's, um, it's got fruit added, but it doesn't taste like the strawberry blonde. It doesn't taste really like it's got a lot of fruit. It's pretty subtle. It's got, um, it's got a nice round, not in a bad way, slightly bloody taste. I wouldn't even call it stone fruit. Um, slightly like if you like orange wine, it's got a slightly orange wine, which is like funky also, which is very, very typical of a saison. It does have a pepper note to it. Um, one of the caveats that, <laughs> can you see the fruit flies trying to drink my beer? They know it's got plums in it. <laughs> um, they came just when I opened the beer. Uh, one of the caveats that I will say is if you get a crowler from your local brewery, drink it within the first couple days. Do not wait because the amount of carbonation that is on a tap line, which is this is poured from the tap into here and they have a fancy machine that puts the top on. Um, the amount of carbonation that is in the tap line is not the same that it takes to keep the beer at the proper carbonation for consumption from the can for very long. So your beer is going to end up flat. And this beer, I waited a couple days longer, is a little bit flat. That is not Angel City's fault. That's not Leticia's fault. That's my fault because I drank all the other beer first. <laughs> um, I'm saying this because one of the really distinct parts of a Saison is that it is usually very briskly bubbly. Um, but for this review, I'm going to disregard that because it's n it's my fault, not their fault. Um, oh, it's got a little bit of a rose hint to it, too. Um, it does taste a little bit like rose. Not rose water, like rose. Just like, like, just like a regular rose, rose and plum and peppery. These bugs are making me fucking insane. <coughs> do you like it? I do like it. I, um, it's still got a ton of bubbles in it. Do you normally like saisons? Um, I like some saisons. I have noticed 
through, I think I've talked about this before, through the years I've kind of like gone up and down or like changed, my palate has changed, I've changed what I've wanted to or desired to drink. Um, there's a, like the Belgian yeast has these like, it's the, the esters and the um, sort of secondary flavors that come off of it, the spiciness, the pepperiness. Um, it's, it's very, very distinct and it's not something I always love. I don't regularly seek out Belgian beer. I do every once in a while. Um, and there are, I mean, there are obviously the exceptions, but that Belgian yeast thing doesn't, doesn't do it for me all the time. I like this beer. I think it's pretty damn good but I usually steer away from Belgian beers because it, ha I can't really, I don't even know how to, it feels like this. It's like this like funny little circus in your nose and mouth that like, <laughs> I just, I'm like, too, I am too active. I'm silly, but my palate has gotten like real fucking boring and serious as I've gotten old. It's like, I would like 4% and like, one one noble hop and that's it <laughs> but this is a good saison it's also when i started drinking it i think i noted to james that it tasted a little hot um classically i think like i said uh a saison is not very uh not a very strong beer um five eight is not five point eight ABV, that's the alcohol, alcohol, <laughs> alcohol content. I've drank quite a bit of this already. Um, 5.8 is not a very high ABV, but it tastes a little hot. I think that was, that's maybe the one criticism I have of this beer is that it's not very high in alcohol, but it tastes higher than it is. Um, <coughs> Why would that be? I think that is, uh, maybe that it hasn't sat around as like, as you age a beer, it will get less hot. Um, and I don't know if this was made in the way that a uh, true saison is that it was made in the winter and then left until now. Um, maybe it could have used another month and then it wouldn't taste hot doesn't make it a bad beer. It, it just tastes a little spicier than I would have thought it was going to. There is a thing about stone fruit. I taste a little strawberry in here too. Strawberry, rose. I'm not going to back down on a little bit of blood. Um, now, would you think that there's raisin. iron in it? Is that why it would taste like blood? There wouldn't be iron in it. There are certain things that um, could make something taste like iron. It's an off chemical taste. Um, I don't think that that's what happen is happening. Usually, if that if there's a like when beer it gets infected. Um, by like bad organisms, it can taste like coppery. It can taste like corn. There's there's a specific bacteria that will make your beer taste like sweet corn. Whoa. Very weird. Um, there but are, this isn't infected. No, 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 no. And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I like there's like a like a metal, some sort of metal. Not even metal. It's like there's like a. <laughs> round like a roundness it's partially because i think that the plum is kind of like a very ripe juicy turn like almost starting to dry and ferment plum versus a i like my plums like a little bit crunchy and sour so this is that like plum that you put in a tart and I think that's why that I'm saying blood because it's like real round and like full. 
and I'm weird. Um, <laughs> what else? I think that it has, it has a similar quality to the Strawberry Blonde where it has a tiny bit of strawberry, a tiny bit of vanilla. Um, but I like it. I think it's good. I think that I would give the One Team One Dream Pink Boots collab with Angel City Brewing the Saison a 7 out of 10 sheets to the wind. What would you give the other one? Sheets to the wind. Pull that can in there. <laughs> Um, the Strawberry Blonde was not my type of beer at all. Anything that says strawberry on a beer, I'm like, get it away from me. <laughs> I don't want to even fucking try it. But we popped it open and it was cold and it was, it was just so jammy. It tasted like homemade strawberry jam. That's exactly what it tasted like. And I'm not even usually into sweet. And it had that like little like like strawberry vanilla pie-y like I think I told Kristen I was like, ooh, it tastes really good with angel food cake. <laughs> like it was a dessert beer without being actually dessert beer sweet, which is something that I liked about it. I wouldn't drink a whole crowler of it. But would I serve it with, um, like a feta salad? Totally. It was, it was good. Um, so one of the other beers that Leticia gave me, it, they, Angel City does an avocado beer. And I saw it on their Instagram and then she told me about it and I was like, that's awesome like that's gonna be gnarly <laughs> uh, and I got it home and they were the it was so hot when I got home from picking them up on my bike and I was just like I'm just cracking cracking one of these open I'm gonna see what it's like and it was so good it was like it was totally it's an avocado colch it was kind of creamy like she said it would be it wasn't overly it was almost like a brown ale it was it was really fun to drink I think that it would like she gave me all these little like recipe cards of avocado things like part of just like wine pairings beer pairings bring flavors out of food and if you drink that beer with a uh, mango guacamole or whatever um that have avocados and I think you would taste it even more it wasn't it wasn't um, I was really surprised by it. It had a really nice mouthfeel, um, and I like a, like, solid brown ale. Um, I thought it was really, it was really fun, and very surprisingly, I would, like, as an, like, easy summer drinker, beer, totally buy more of it. It was a good one. Um... <clears throat> Thank you again so much to Angel City and my girl Leticia for hooking me up with all this beautiful Angel City beer. Um, I'm saving the Keller beer for myself to drink on my own. Um, thank you so much to our patrons. Um, your support means the world to us, especially during this super crazy time. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, give a thumbs up, subscribe. It helps us a lot. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please hit us up down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say or respond to any of your queries. Until next time. Hit me up down below if you have any questions.
You want me to say hit me up down below? They do. <laughs>